My real problem with Celestia is that she's supposed to be all-knowing, all-caring, all-powerful, and I think they want us to believe she's benevolent. It sounds like an easy sell, but when life in Equestria is just turning completely to crap, you really have to wonder why our princess deemed it necessary to trust the threat of the moon demigoddess threatening to shroud the world in eternal darkness in the hands of the socially awkward bookworm, the shy animal caretaker, the fashionista, the cocky athlete, the workhorse, and the pinkie pie. And then she shows up at the very end, and then she's like, oh my student, I know knew all this would happen, but I knew you could do it. And yeah, you can make the argument, but Twilight found friends, and they realized their inner potential and the magic and the power they hold and the magic of friendship that saved the day. But then you go to the season two finale, where throughout the whole show, we get we get this build up, somewhat build up of Celestia being caring and knowledgeable and powerful. Yet she completely turns her back on Twilight, which is which is like a middle finger to everybody, to, to Twilight herself. And then she gets and then she gets her shit slapped by Chrysalis. And yeah, I know uh, uh, Chrysalis was disguising herself as Cadence and everything. But given everything that's happened, you would think. You would think that Celestia would trust Twil all Twilight's every word at this point, just as Twilight trusts hers. And yeah, I know Chrysalis was using the power of Shining Armor and Cadence's love, but come on. I know it's, I know they were supposed to believe that they ruled the kingdom 50-50, Celestia and Luna, but you gotta think, it's pretty much a 70-30 at this point. So, there's, I'm not saying there's no reason why she could have been beaten, why she should have been beaten, but she shouldn't have been beaten so easily because she's Celestia. And then in the season three premiere, Luna's ready to go in there with the main six and give him an edge of power that they might need in order to stop Sombra. But then, but she's just like, ugh, sister, let my student handle this. And Luna's just like, mm. and I'm just like, why do you deprive us of Luna? <sighs> The thing about Celestia, which is why people are so divided on her, is because she, because she wants us to believe that the ends justify the means, and which is really sketchy, lady, because. She puts the whole fate of Equestria, and she leaves it. She leaves it up to chance. She leaves it. She leaves her faith in the hands of where it could pass or it could fail. Like like Twilight during the whole season three premiere, you see she's stressing out about what to do about her tests, about this and about that. But Celestia's just like. You can do it, but Celeste, but but Twilight's still like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, which, and yeah, which is why Spike was the reason why it was he was the reason why the day was saved because Twilight realized that the test doesn't matter, and that was the point of Celestia to realize it wasn't a test. So, I think things could have turned out better. I mean, maybe Spike wouldn't have been the hero, but better that than to just cop out at the end and say, and say, better my student be selfless than selfish. It's a good lesson, but the, tra but the trauma that Celestia puts Twilight through on that, on lesson zero, it's just ridiculous. We're supposed to believe she's all caring, she's all loving and all that, but why does Twilight fear her so much? I get she's the princess, but Celestia is essentially a surrogate mother to Twilight. She trusts her and she and she loves her. I'm not talking, you know, but you know, she loves her. So why does she fear her so much? T Celestia must have done something in the past, or there's something Twilight knows about her, that makes Celestia so feared by her. Unfortunately, consequently, um, she also has, t uh, Celestia also has the uh, best Ask Me Tumblr. But that's beside the point. And then Luna, Luna participated more, participates more in the show than Celestia. Now, now the reasons why is because, um, in season in season two, she willingly goes to Ponyville to associate with the subject. It doesn't turn out perfectly well, but she still tries. In season three, she's ready to go to battle. Also in season three, she we learn that she goes into the dreams of her subjects to make sure they're dreaming peacefully.
that's really heavy when you think about it. So, Celestia isn't a bad person, but I don't, but the reason why I like Luna more is because she just seems to care more. She doesn't leave everything up to chance. It may, it may look her out to be like she doesn't have that much faith in her students or, uh, or, you know, her subjects or anything, but she's smart enough to know to not leave the Mufasa unicorn lookalike up to the hands of six misfits, a dragon, um, um, an ill, an ill alicorn and shining armor, because we all know shining armor is essentially useless, and and that's that's why that's why I don't like Celestia. Luna's better, and she should have won the election. I'm out.